Okay, guys, uh, we got the 10 letter in here. Uh, this 10 4 pig would be out of uh, Creation's mother, so it's a so called New Direction sow. And it's an it's, uh, interesting pedigree because we bred that uh, to the rare air bore and rare air bore uh, creation on his litter mate. So this one's pretty pretty tight. Now, rock isn't as tight because there's statement day in here, but this is very tight, line bred, uh, rare air, and that'd be rare air, would be a litter mate to the mother of the perfect timing bore that brings 130,000 jump man and would be uh, the mother of rock. So uh, this is rare air back on the so cold south. Well, these come in here. We've already viewed a bunch of the red ones of various sizes, and, and I just sit here and I'm, I'm just shaking my head. It, I mean, trying to put together an upper end or short list or what have you. I mean, you start where you want to, you end where you want to. These hogs are all built exactly the same. <laughs> They're really good skulled hogs that are great jawline. They're perfect length of body. Um, depending upon type and kind, whether you're wanting one that's uh, thicker, stouter, heavier structured, and feeding them a different way than you would a greener, skinnier one, that, that's up to you. You guys pick the ones, but man, I mean, the build, the proportions, the correctness, uh, uh, indicators, everything is still there. And again, I mean, they're just, there's so many different directions to go. That's just a good pig that has a good skull, right length of body, very good build. Me, I, I really like this one. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, this thing, that cobra look or that, you know, neck as long as the Aflac duck or whatever you want to say, this thing has got a <laughs> tremendous amount of bone work and look. And uh, I mean, I don't know what we're what we're trying to accomplish here but this thing is unique very very unique when you come out here and you catch that side view and that co that cobra that that aflac duck aflac duck here he is that, that this thing's got hair i mean hair on top of hair too and he's everything those guys said uh length of side i mean uh, it, he looks kind of cross british I, the only thing that these durocs can't do probably is maybe like win the expo um other than that, hey, hey, you're in the market for state fair, or even you summer type, summer I type, you, summer. yeah. I mean, they're probably not big enough for the expo, but I wouldn't rule anything out. Uh, it's just an incredible set uh, from a skeletal standpoint. Uh, zero question marks, yep. and 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 like Jim had said, you ask for a short list. There, there's really not one. Uh, yeah, it, it's yeah. probably going to hinder their value individually because there's so many of them. Uh, that are worth feeding. Yeah, the opportunities for people to pick and choose. Yeah, right. there's not three. I, I can I, I swear to you, there's not just three of them. It, it's a very nice set of red males, and this one maybe takes the cake. Maybe I, I don't know. Maybe it does today, but you you pick them how you like them. There there's a bunch of them. That's a unique pedigree and boar guys out there, and we've sold a few red boars out here recently. Wow. Uh, I mean, that's an interesting pedigree. Rare air is not with us any longer. We lost him. And we bred him particular to this sow to, to, and make make unique pigs to line it up even more one last time. And she's this, not your also sow either, I no, don't believe. No, <laughs> and she still lays down, has 10, 12 pigs and, and every time. And recently just uh, had the, the two boars there at Platts, uh, Deadliest Catch and, uh, and the other boar uh, this fall that brought 25,000 and 15,000 on studs. So, I mean, she's still doing it. And the mission bore at, at, at Platts, the off season bore. So, here it is for you. Guess work's gone. 10 4 rare air on the so cold.